Hi, it's Dan. Half of the witches of the Crystal Garden. We're still uh, separated because of quarantine, so I'm doing another video on my own. You guys really seem to really like Joan's altar room, and while I don't think I can top hers because it's a whole room and it's so beautifully put together, I will show you mine, which is a corner of a room and also definitely a different extent, like a different look completely different look we've said it before our styles or whatever are very very different so you're gonna see mine how you do your altar is really up to you it's what you want from it uh, it's a place to charge your items keep them safe keep them like you know protected at all times so nothing kind of like no bad vibes get on it or whatever. Set mine up differently every time I do a ritual. Depends on what I'm doing and what I want. So those things I have in boxes and stuff like that. Just for safekeeping, I don't always keep them out. Like right now, I don't have um, my representations of the elements out or anything like that. I don't personally always leave them on there. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Really, it's whatever I feel like in the moment. Uh, there's also a lot online on what you can put on your altar, what you can use your altar for, and all those kind of things. I do use my altar for rituals. I use my altar for preserving the energies on my items, or, you know, just kind of my go-to place. Anyways, so I will show you guys some of my junk and how it looks, and then you can tell me if I own too much junk. I probably do. Okay, this is my witchy corner. Woo -hoo! Um, That is my light right there. And that is my computer recording sound. Hopefully you can still hear me. Um, there's my cool little rug. It's just cool. Over here, you know I had to do it. Suspicious boxes. Uh, more junk. There's that phone of mine. And that is a fake book that you open up and there's you know, stuff in it. Fake plant, other thing, other fake plant, other fake plant. Real plants, real plants. And there's just some. This one is Cthulhu. He's my babe. I love him. This is Cthulhu's babies. There's also more downstairs. Oh, yeah. There's a gargoyle. There's one of my gargoyles. There's a gargoyle. So you know, there's some of them. Um, I made that. That's a skull planter that actually got messed up and I made it. Love him. He's very cool. You can see he's supposed to have an eye, but a bubble happened in the mold and you know, I actually like him a lot. I have another one in here too. Air plant! And then there's my little bloodstone frog. I love him. He hides in there. There's all this junk right here. I know, I'm a Harry Potter fan, get off my back. More air plants, air plants, cause why the hell not? Uh, fake plant, fake candle. Um, thing from um, Joanne's, Michael's, Michael's, I don't know, one of those. Uh, air plants, own a lot of air plants. Um, this is a pendulum of mine that I keep here for safekeeping cause I'll lose it if not. More air plants and candles and crystals and mushrooms. Surprise, surprise, and keys because, again, surprise, surprise. And then, this is my goddess statue that I have. She's pretty cool. She's kind of heavy because she is concrete or stone or whatever. And then this is my god, and he's my favorite. I show him off all the time, and I always will because I just love him. Look at him. He's so cute. But yeah, so they're here. They're not really on my, my table over here, but I set them here. Sometimes they're on the table, sometimes they're not. Again, like I said, always changing what everything is. Um, these crystals are not on here in any certain way. I just throw them on here. And this one, how cool it is. It's got like etching on it and it's moons and stuff. What? Okay, so next is this thing okay so i keep it covered because it's got herbs in there and my room does get a good amount of sunlight and i don't want them on that so i cover it up but then i just throw it down and there we go oh, oh, oh. look at all the bottles this is where i keep most of my herbs um they're all in like bottles and there's some books and then that's a pile of just 
incense junk. Anyways, all my bottles. Cool. I love them. There's a bunch in there. They're all piled in there in a weird way. Eventually I want a little bit better of a place for them, but this is what they have. Um, I keep my runes in here, which if you really want some cool runes, I got them from this artist friend of mine. Super sweet. She's from Michigan too. Oh, that was really upsetting. It's these really cool wooden, like, runes. Like, they're so cute, and I think she makes them to order. So I'll tag her her Etsy down below as well. But yeah, that goes right there on my side. All of those out in the open. Oh, you know, I didn't even light any of my candles to show off. I believe I was about to show this all off to you with all my candles lit. Aesthetic, right? I'm sorry, I shouldn't, I shouldn't shake the camera. That's gonna be annoying. All right, onto here. So obviously there's mortar and pestle I usually keep out because I use it a lot. Right here is where I leave my oracle decks and my tarot cards and my book. They're always right there. Skulls, you know, skulls. Books and candle thing and more books. All my books. Well, some. <laughs> some of my books. Aesthetic books. Look at that. Aesthetic. This right here. It's kind of my current offering bowl and I kind of use this whole like indent in the table for it and I leave my bones in there and I leave some orange slices and my bell is currently there I don't remember why I don't remember when I put it there but it's there <laughs> all right so that's basically the rundown of mine I don't really have too much stuff to really talk about. I like my little skull dude. I have my cauldron, obviously. It is a must have just cause convenience and I love it. And I have this dude who I talked about before too. You know, cute. Bones. You know how it is. There they are. Look at those. Woo. Style. And look at all that rust on the side. Ooh. Cute. I do keep my oils in there, all my extra witchy stuff I keep in that box right there. Um, I do keep all my little like satchels and like extra bags that I use in the little book thing right there. I keep a lot of my matches and most flame things in the little container on top of it. Oh, and most important, obviously, it's the true savior of us all, Danny DeVito. You need him. I get these cool candles. I get that from this uh, really cool artist. She's overseas, so shipping is really bad, but I think she sells some stuff out of New York now out of a shop, I think. But I will uh, tag her stuff as well, because she does that one. She does that one as well, and she also does this dude, which they look better, but I accidentally melted the side of him, but I love him. So I will tag her as well, so that you guys can see it. Um, I get a lot of my herbs from a Etsy shop, I can tag the Etsy shop too. Bones, I actually, I got mo well, a good decent amount of bones from a local antique shop that has a, a little creepy section and had bones. Air plants, I get locally because they're plants and I don't know, it's just where I get them. And uh, yeah, I mean honestly, <laughs> I didn't plan it out so I don't really know what you guys want for me to point out. But uh, let me know in the comments and I can also make sense of what I didn't tell you, I guess. Um, also, Joan and I sometimes have matching things on our altar. Anyways, that's all I have. So that's my altar. Like I said, it's just how I do things. Some things aren't out. Some things are displayed differently than I would normally use them because I move things about all the time, constantly. I know it's a mess and I know it's not organized, but you know what? That's who I am. That's who I am on the inside. So why would my practice show anything other than who I am? Right? Right. I'm a mess. That's who I am. You got Joan, who's clean and perfect and beautiful and has everything just so gorgeous and like aligned so well and just in place and I just organized. And then you have me, the trash goblin. Anyways, I've babbled way too long. Thank you for checking on my um, altar. 
you know, follow us on Instagram. Um, we have a Twitter that I kind of post to once in a while. I try to be funny, but I'm not. So you can follow that if you want to. I'll link that as well. Promo, I have an Etsy, so check it out. I make shirts. Let me know what you think of it. You don't have to buy anything, but you do have to look. I'm kidding. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do, but you should check it out. You can also follow my art Instagram uh, for my Etsy store, which I will also also link below. A lot of links this time. So again, thanks for watching. Leave something in the comments. Your favorite piece of junk I own. How many pieces of junk you saw. Type it all out. Count. Count all the junk you see. And tell me. Tell me how much junk I have. Uh, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, and thanks for stopping by. See ya!